Hey there. In this video, I'll show you how to register and use the AKB48 Group Ticket Center. There have been many guides to this made in the past, but I want to explain things step by step, as well as provide advice for specific parts of the registration and application processes. I won't be covering what to do if you get in the feeder. I'll actually be uploading a separate video where I'll talk about some tips on what to do if you do win the feeder. One thing to note is that I am a fan of SK48, so I will be covering how to apply for SK48 stages only. While the application process differs slightly by group, the main idea is the same, so you should be fine. Uh, the registration process, though, is the same for all groups, so you can use my instructions to make an account to apply for all the other 48 groups as well. So this is my first video and my microphone is quite poor, so my apologies. Let's get started. So first things first, let's go to the website. The website is called ticket.akb48-group.com. You can easily find this by Googling AKB space ticket or something like that. So once we get on the page, we'll see a lot of stuff. This page has a lot of information on it and it's all in Japanese. So it's quite overwhelming when you first get on. So we're primarily concerned about only two things on this page. So when you scroll down, you see this. These are theaters you can apply to. When we scroll down some more, we get to this part, which are concerts as well as other little activities like theater plays that you can apply for. But before we can apply for anything, we need to make an account. And before I get into the account registration process, I want to note that at the very top, you can obviously sort by all the different groups. So we have AKB, SKE, NMB, HKT, NGT, and STU. So we can click on one and we'll have all the groups activities um, sorted that way. And I also want to note that on the top right, we can select the language. So right now, the default language is Japanese. But there's actually an English version of the page. I actually didn't know this. I've been using the site for three to four years. And I only now realize that there's an English version of the page. So you might be thinking, oh, well, I've had experiences with English versions of Japanese sites before. The English is terrible, right? Well, let's take a look. It's actually not that bad. Um, I was actually skeptical when I first looked at it. And there are some definite problems with it. But it's actually not all that bad. I'm actually surprised, pleasantly so. So once you load up the English version of the site, most of the stuff is translated in English. However, there are some problems. As we can say here, these S key stages don't have translated names. So we don't even know what we'd applied for here for in English. So I would suggest sticking with the Japanese version of the site. However, we can use the English version of the site to register. So let's register. So you have to click this little button on the top right here to register. Like I said, we can use the English version of the site to register. And actually, this matters uh, whether you choose to register in Japanese or English. You can change the language halfway. So there actually is uh, a registration process in English that you can follow. But you have to put the page in English and then click register here and then put in your email here. We can do this too in Japanese. So if you go in Japanese, you click register here and you have to put in your email address here. So obviously, once you put your email address, uh, they will send you a mail, and you have to click the little link inside to confirm. So I made a fake email here just for this video. And uh, this, is, this is the English version of the message. We have it here. Oh, uh, we just click this link. It's in English, so we can understand. And then Japanese, too, it's just that first link. And that's the one you click. And like I said, it matters which one you click, because for the next part, the personal information, you're going to have to fill that in in the language that you selected. So for example, here, it's in Japanese, everything. Oh. And then the other one, it's all in English. So actually, the English translation here is pretty, pretty good. Um, so you can just follow the English information to fill this in. However, there's some very specific things that I want to be that I want to talk about. There's some things in here that are really important to your application. So I want to go step by step with you and guide you down. Um, so I'm going to be using the, the Japanese version. And while using this, I'll reference the English version, uh, just so you can see both of them. I know some people are rather skeptical about the English version, and they think that they'll be put on the list if they fill things in in English. So I want to just make sure uh, that you can do both. If you, know, if you don't want to fill it in English, you don't have to. Um, you just fill it in Japanese as well. I don't think it matters. Um, but I am, a, I am rather skeptical myself of, um, of these English pages, so I usually just follow the Japanese ones. 
I did forget to mention, but right before this part, there is a terms of agreement that you have to agree to and click on it. Should be very simple to get through. So, like I said, there's an English page and a Japanese page. So let's go through the English page first. Um, and then let's go through the Japanese one at the same time, right after. Um, I do recommend filling it in through the Japanese version because there's one little difference with your name. Uh, and I would just play it safe and fill out the Japanese version. But the English version is pretty easy to follow, I think. There are, might be some little things that aren't translated like 100%, but um, I think it's rather easy to follow. So let's jump in. So first, we need your email address. That's already there. That's the email that you've used uh, already. So for me, I have a very mature email address that I made just for the purpose of this video. And that's the one that I'll be getting mails to. They want your nickname. Oh, you can also put a second email address, but that doesn't change anything. That just means you'll get email to that ad address as well. Um, so you'll get a nickname. Uh, this nickname, just you, you can choose whatever. You might just put your name again here. This doesn't impact anything. What does impact some things is your name, your birthday, and your gender. Because like it says here, you can change these things once your application is complete. Once your registration is complete, I mean. So in the English version, they give you the the <laughs> they give you the choice of putting a first name, middle name, and last name. Um, whereas in the Japanese one, they don't give you that. They just give you last name, first name. And they want you to enter it twice. This is the difference I was talking about. Uh, they want you to put in your name here. Um, in Japanese, you would use kanji. Uh, but since we're not Japanese, uh, we'll just fill it out here in English. But they want you to use full width alphanumeric to fill this in. If you just fill it in like normally, it won't work. So the, the characters have to look like this. And you can Google full width alphanumeric um, and you'll find sites that you can just copy paste and it'll look like this. But if you have a Japanese keyboard installed, you can right click here and then you can just change it here to full width alphanumeric and type the stuff here. And then for the next field, they want you to fill things out in Katakana. Same thing, they want full width. So you right click here and you go full width Katakana. Again, you can just Google this, Katakana, <clears throat> and they will, uh, there, there, you know, there will be sites where you can just copy paste. Um, and, you know, they will translate your name for you in Katakana and all that. The Katakana does not matter. Um, I don't think this will be used at all. Uh, they do care about your name, though. So this part truly matters. It must match your ID. So the ID that you present to the theater staff when you get your tickets has to match the information you provide here. So make sure that everything you provide for this field is exactly the same as in your passport. So same goes for your birthday and same goes for your sex. For your occupation, this does not matter. We can see here in English the translations for the occupation. So you can be a job hopper. You can be a student. The only one that I would say matters um, would be elementary school or junior high school student because they have a different um, way to apply. But you need to prove that you're an elementary school or, or a junior high school student. So uh, I don't think that you're one of these people. So just, just choose one of these other jobs. Uh, it does not matter. They will not ask you about it. Whatever. You can lie. Next, this does matter, your current residence. Um, what matters though is that you, you can see you can choose to put an address as overseas or as in Japan. Now, I highly, highly recommend that you enter a Japanese address and not an overseas address. The reason for this is that if you enter an address as living overseas, you will be funneled into applying for a specific um, type of application which is only for foreigners and which I frankly don't think even allows any applications. Um, I think, you know, personally, my little conspiracy theory is that they just use this to funnel foreigners out. Uh, I've never heard of anyone win with this. There might be people, so, but I've never heard of this. Everyone is terrified of registering as uh, a foreigner, as living, um, as having an address in another country. So even if you live in another country than Japan, put your information as living in Japan, okay? 
because your chances of successfully getting into a theater or a concert will be significantly lower if you choose this other one. You might not even be able to apply. So play it safe and then apply for Japan. And obviously, if you don't live in Japan, well, just make up an address. Well, don't make it up, uh, but Google a hotel or something or ask a friend if you can use their address. Um, they won't be contacted or anything. Uh, they will not check your address if you do not live in Japan because you can provide a passport um, down here. So don't worry about this. If you don't live in Japan, you're going to be fine. Um, so, but if you do live in Japan, if you do live in Japan like me, put your real address because they will want to check your um, they will want to check your ID, your residence card, and all that, and it should match what's on here. Uh, obviously, if you're a foreigner, you just present your passport, and that's that. So, what do you need to fill out for your address? Um, let's use the English version. So, you have your postcode. They want you to enter it half width, okay? They want your prefecture. They want your city. So, like, okay, Tokyo. They want your town or detail. So, Usually, a city will have a more specific area of it um, in the address. And then they want your block number, which is usually some numbers here. So sometimes these are three numbers. My address has two numbers. So that's just what comes after these things in the address, these two things. And then they want to know, the, this isn't mandatory, but if you live in an apartment, um, they want to know the apartment name and the number of your room. And that should be on your residence card as well, if you do have um, an address in Japan. And then they want a phone number. The phone number can be whatever. They will not check this. You can just write in any old phone number. So this part is the same in Japanese and in English. All right. Let's go down here to passport information. They will want to know your country of citizenship, and your passport number, and your expiration date. So uh, if you're using the Japanese version, it will be in katakana so i recommend if you don't know your country's katakana uh, just go on wikipedia um, search up your country and then just change the language of that page to japanese and you'll have it um, and then they want your passport number and your expiration date this is incredibly important um, because this will be the id that you present if you are a foreigner and you don't have an address in japan and this must match your passport or you will not get in your theater Next, they want to know your credit card information. So <laughs> this is rather funny in English, not set, set. Um, but basically, just, just do as you like. For your first time, uh, you might feel a bit nervous uh, whether your credit card will be accepted or not. I recommend probably not registering your credit card for the first time just to make sure you get in because credit card or not, the only, the only bonus of your credit card really is that you can pay with, you know, you can pay a day before and you don't have to present any cash when you get your ticket. But there's really no other bonus. You're not saving up any money. You're not, you know, you, you don't get a bonus apart from that. So just show up on the day, bring your cash with you, and you can get your ticket. And that's that. So if you do want to set it up, you just put your information here. But if you don't, it's fine. Um, I've done both and both are fine I actually kind of prefer paying with cash just because you never know if you can make it or not and I'm not sure if you can get refunds if you pay and you can't go all right so they want to know your Oshiman here um, so you can choose from a list of all the members by teams of all the groups and they want to know who's your Oshiman this really matters so you can choose one. It, it doesn't matter how many Oshis you pick for other groups if you just pick one or if you fill it all, all up for the groups. Uh, actually, I recommend that if you do like multiple groups that you put your Oshis for them all because this increases your chances significantly of going to your Oshiman Seitansai. That's their birthday performances. Uh, and for these performances, people who have them as a registered Oshi are given preference and um, they will get in first. Usually, uh, yeah. So your Oshiman here really matters. Choose wisely, and the site keeps track of how many days you registered as that Oshi, and this actually does play a role for Seitan size. So 
loyalty <laughs> loyalty actually matters for this website, um, which is kind of funny. And then for the next part, they want to know other members that you like. So you can select up to three per group. It's not necessary to do so. I don't think this gives you any bonus at all. Uh, and then here you have your Oshi team. Uh, your Oshi team actually has a little bit of an impact. So just put your favorite team. You can only pick one for all the groups. So I on my main account, I am um, registered as a Team E-Fan. And when they had the third uh, draft for the AKB48 group, they put us in these little showroom channels um, for all the little teams. So I was in the Team E only um, channel and I could vote on you know the members that I wanted to enter for that draft. It was their little gimmick. So in general, I don't think this matters too much. Um, but hey, we've had times where this actually does matter. Maybe it gives you more chances to get in that team's uh, theaters. I don't know. Just put your favorite team. And then at the very bottom, they have these uh, memberships, uh, which you pay for and which give you little perks. We can fill this in now. I will talk about it later. So for now, don't worry about it. Just click on continue, confirm your information, and we are done. All right, so that was quite lengthy, but I hope it was illuminating. Uh, I know the registration process is not that difficult, but there are many questions about the information that you have to enter and whether it matters and all that, so I wanted to kind of address that. So now we can move on to the application uh, for theaters, which is what you're here for. So let's take a look. When you log in, and by the way, now that you have your account, you will log in using the number that you've been emailed. That's your group ID, and you will be given that, I believe, and that's how you log on. At least that's how I do it. So I have my group ID, my password, and that's how I log on. All right. Um, so upon logging in, you'll be presented with this page, which is your My Page. And on this page, um, you have a you have four drop-down menus here. So the first one are... Well, right now, when I click, uh, you don't see anything because I haven't applied to theaters. But if you do, you would have things appear down here. So the first one is theaters that you are currently applying to. And you can see the ones that you, you know, are currently under application. All right. The next one are the ones you've won. So if you, if you have a theater appear here, that means you've won uh, a number. And that you are definitely 100% in this theater. Congratulations. The third one here is a bit murky. This means um, on standby or a wait list, whatever you want to call it. Usually we use the Japanese word, uh, which is cancel machi. Uh, but we just say can machi usually. Um, and that means that you have not won. You have not won, but you might win. And if you win a can machi, that means that you go to line up. And you might enter the theater if these guys, these winners here, uh, they don't show up. So if they don't show up, these people get in at, at the end. Okay, and then here, um, this is where you're going to have most of your text boxes appear. This, these are your losses. So if you don't get in the theater, it appears down here. And then down here, right at the bottom, we have your Oshiman and what stages she is appearing in. So as you can see, I have my Oshiman here. And it tells me, oh, she will be there on... December 31st, she will be doing the countdown Cohen. So the countdown, the, the New Year countdown. Oh, and she's in there and I can apply to it. So this lets you know your Oshiman in a glance and what theater she's appearing in and the ones you can apply to. So it's actually quite handy. Um, here, using this tab, you can change it and look at your Oshiman. So let's do that right now. As you can see, um, I only have one registered. It's Maya, 396 days, cool. And then you have your Oshihen uh, history down here, which I'm not going to get into. Uh, <laughs> and then you have your settings here. So if you ever want to make changes to your account information, you click here. And then here you have basically uh, things you've applied to, usually for concerts and the like. And yeah, let's take a look at settings. But basically, if you want to add... Um, one of the other mobile services to increase your chances of applying. We'll get into that right just, just in a second, but um, it lets you know that you can 
use the websites here. They give you links to the other websites so that you can link them and, and have your memberships. Um, so you can do all that on the other group's websites. All right. All the other stuff is not too important right now. Uh, so this is your if you want to change your personal information. This is if you want to add information for someone to accompany you as a pair. And this is if you want to delete your account. All right. So applying for theaters. Let's go. So as you can see, I've, I've, I've narrowed it down to SKE. And there are two theaters I can apply to right now and a bunch of concerts. So concerts, how that works. Um, I've actually never won a concert. Um, but if you want to, they will be here, uh, and you can apply there and you can usually apply using a, mo uh, a mobile membership. So having your mobile membership is very helpful for theaters as well as concerts because they basically allow you to apply twice. And sometimes they are almost necessary to apply. Um, anyway, as you can see here, I have an SK48 mobile, so I can click on here and apply for these theater plays that I don't even know what they are. I don't even know if there's any SK members in them. Um, but yeah, anyway. So let's go over up here and we have the SKE48 theaters. So there are two right now that I can apply to. And as you can see, there's a bunch of these little things and some of them are red and some of them are blacked out. So if they're blacked out, it means you can't apply, f you know, you, you cannot click on them and you can't apply using that, um, that, uh, application um, package or whatever you will. Um, so there are various uh, amounts of them. Some of them are limited. As you can see that the countdown co one only has three um, types you can apply for and then the other one has a bunch, the regular one. So let's look at these in detail. Uh, so these are the application, um, these are your application deadlines. So the first way to apply is by something known as ENPO. So ENPO means you live far away. They also allow <laughs> you to apply if you live overseas. But as we've seen, we can't even choose overseas here. Maybe if you have an overseas account where, where you set your address as living overseas, you can have one here, but I don't see one. So I doubt it even exists. All right, so as we can see, 11 days before, so 11 days before, uh, we can apply using ENPO. So ENPO is a specific um, way of application which you can try and use as a foreigner yourself. So to apply for ENPO, you need to live, well, your, your, your registered address for your account has to be in a prefecture other than Aichi, Gifu, and Mie. So if you don't live in Japan, I recommend, and you want to go to SK concerts uh, and theaters, um, I would suggest that your address is not in Aichi, Gifu, or Mie because you can apply using Enpo as well. And hey, you might win using that. I know someone who applies with Enpo living overseas and he gets in theaters. So you can definitely do this. But your address cannot be in Aichi, Gifu, or Mie. And you apply for this 11 days before the scheduled date, starting at 9 o'clock. 9 p.m. that day, all the way up until 6 p.m. the next day. That's 10 days before. So 10 days before, 6 p.m., the ENPO registration closes. And at 9 p.m., so three hours later, they will release the information uh, for winners and losers of ENPO and apparently people who live overseas, if, that's, if, if they even let anyone in there. Um, the reason I say if they let anyone in there is if, if you get selected as Empo, you get a special seat and it's, mar is, it's designated as that. And P foreigners, I've never seen anything specifically designated for them at the SK Theater. So I'm not even sure they're, I'm not even sure that's accepted. Anyway, so that's that. So that's Empo. That's for people living further away. This is quite nice because if you live overseas, um, you can apply from your country. And if you live kind of close by and the plane ticket is not that expensive and you think you can go, you can win an Enpo and just fly over here and that's that. All right. Then we jump all the way to four days before. Whew, four days before. Ain't that a doozy. So we have a bunch of different ways to apply here. And as you can see, 
um, there are way more than were listed here. And I'll get to this in a second. Um, so the main way that we apply is through the SK48 mobile membership here. This is a paid membership. You have to go through the SK48 website right over here and you f pay for your monthly membership and then you link your account here to your account on the ticket site. Once that's done, um, you will be able to apply to theater shows with the SK48 mobile membership. This is huge. Everyone and their mother has the SK40 mobile membership because so theaters in general have what about 300 people get in each time and I would say that about half maybe, maybe not half maybe only 100 but a significant amount of tickets are given to this bracket of people so for Enpo the one we're talking about before these guys over here I think only six or seven of them can get in per theater so really not many people but for these guys woof, there's gonna be a lot of them so if you really want to get into a theater, I highly recommend that for the you know for the time of your stay at least, you register to the SK40 Mobile membership, and you link it to your account. That way, you can use this as a way of getting in. However, this application uh, period or, or round is shared with these four other things. So, what are these? So, the one at the bottom here is the the video group membership. So, this is a new service they offer. Uh, where you can um, view videos online of all the 48 group stuff. And you can actually, again, you can link that to your account here and you can use that to apply. Um, and the nice thing about the, the video membership is that every month they raffle out some high chance uh, wins to a theater for people who are registered on that website. And these high chance wins are these three things on the top. So you have 100 out of 100. That means if you apply... If you have this thing, you're really lucky. And it means that you have a 100% chance of getting in whatever theater you so choose. Uh, within a certain period, of course. The second one says um, you have a 98% chance of getting in. So you should get in, but you might have terrible luck and you might still get rejected. Um, and then the other one here, I'm actually not sure what this one is. Um, but again, this looks like a high win uh, one as well. So the way that you get these ones is either through these grab bags or these kind of uh, little giveaway, well, not giveaways, you, you, you always have to pay for these, don't worry, they, they want your money. Um, you're gonna have to pay for like merchandise and all that and you always have a chance of winning something. So this is like the big, big winner prize that you want because it lets you get in the theater 100%. A lot of people save these for their Oshiman Saitatsai, that's usually what people use it for. All right, so uh, again, so this, th this round, all these people, who apply using these things, you apply on uh, at 9 p.m., four days before, and the deadline is the next day at 6 p.m. So three days before, 6 p.m. deadline, and 9 p.m., it's announced if you won or not. Now, if you apply with the SK48 Mobile, and maybe the video one as well, you can also choose um, to get in with the cancel Machi, which is what we were talking about um, here, this thing here. So you can apply uh, to get to, to normally win and you can also apply, if you don't win, you, you, can, you can say, okay, well, if I don't win, I want to also enter a raffle to win as a cancel matchy. Now, if you get a cancel matchy as an SK48 mobile member, you are, given the you are given a number from 1 to 50. This really increases your chance of getting in. Because, okay, even if you're Cancel Machi, you can get in the theater quite easily. If you're, if you're in the top 30, that's pretty much a guarantee that you will get in. If you're top 20, that's a guarantee for sure. Because they, they have spots uh, reserved for Cancel Machi. About, I would say about 30 per, per show that they have. Even if, even if everyone else shows up, there will be about 30 extra spaces for people with Cancel Machi. So if you're in the first 30 numbers because it's by order of number, you know, of, of you know, number one to number 150. Um, then if you win one of these guys here and you're like number 20, then hey, you're gonna get in for sure, but you're gonna be standing in the back most likely. All right, so this is important to note that if you apply with SK40 Mobile, you have the chance to also apply as a Kanmachi. Okay, 
and the next day that's all set. And so you'll know if you get in, you don't get in, or if you're cancel merging. All right. And on that same day, at 9 p.m., you can apply for these four other ones. So this is the last round of applications, and it includes uh, family and groups. Um, so these are, you're given seats and I think a whole role for this. I don't think this applies to anyone here uh, who will be applying since these groups are rather large and I don't think the percentages are that great. Next are pairs. So if you apply as a pair, you will definitely get a seat. And by the way, these seats, whenever you get a seat, they're quite good. They're, they're, they're quite good view seats. So, uh, so if you apply the pair, you, you mention that. You say, okay, I apply the pair and this is the person who will be accompanying me. And if you get selected, you win those seats. So if you're with a friend, you might want to apply here, but you might have a worse chance applying with this than if you apply as a normal person down here. The next one are for middle schoolers and elementary schoolers. That's not you, I assume. And then the last one is normal people or regular people, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is us. So if you failed the SK48 mobile uh, application the, and, and you don't get in, your last chance, your last hope is this normal person one. Uh, so a lot of people, you know, again, like this round, there's like, you know, probably over 100. Over here, there's definitely a lot of people here too. Definitely over 100. I'm not sure which round has more, uh, if they're equal or anything like that, but they definitely, you know, a lot of people get it. Um, so yeah, apply. You, you know, most people apply here as a normal person. As a normal person, you don't need a membership. You don't need anything. This is just, if you just made an account fresh, this is probably the only thing you can apply to. Or if you set your address somewhere far away, you can probably apply as EMPO as well. Okay, and these people, again, from 9 to 6 the next day. So at 9, you know the answer. And as, as an IPAM, as, as a normal person here, you can also choose to gain a, um, to apply for a cancel matchy. Sorry. So you can apply for a cancel matchy. However, if you apply for a cancel match as a normal person, your number will be from 51 to 150. So that's quite a big range. And the chances of you getting in if you win that are pretty low. If it's, if it's 70 or below, you have a good chance of getting in still. I got in once with a 97. I was very lucky. It was a weekday. No one showed up. I got in. But if you have 100 and above, uh, it's, it's not going to be that likely that you get in. So be careful about that. But if you really want to get in and you know you're going to, you know, you, you know you're going to be there, why not apply for cancel match as well? So right here at the bottom, it says if you win, you have to show up to the theater two hours before it starts or it's scheduled to start rather. And you have to be there from, you know, either w within this period of two hours before to 30 minutes before it's scheduled to begin. You need to get your ticket. You need to show up. Um, so, you know, you can just show up, you, you might just show up 30 minutes before, but that's pretty risky. Um, because after this time, after the 30 minutes, the cancel matchy people get their tickets. So everyone in here who's missing, who, and you know, who, who didn't go and all that, uh, they're not given priority. These cancel matchy people will come in after you. If you want and you're late, you can still show up, but you'll, you'll enter as a cancel matchy basically. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting into this more in depth in another video because this video is quite long. There are some strategies and whatever and, and other things I've talked about here, uh, but that's that. So that's all there is to the application process. So let's let's finish the video by looking at how to apply. So right now there are two ones I can apply to. Uh, so I, I took here um, the Bonenkai, the farewell party at the end of the year. Uh, which will be on the 31st, starts at 3. All right, let's go. I can choose Ipan. They have the members here who will appear. They have all the things you can apply. As obviously, I'm not going to apply as a pair. I'm not going to apply as a family group. I'm going to apply as Ipan. I apply here. I don't choose no, no pairs, no one. I click this, and then you're brought here. And they're like, okay, you're going to be applying with an Ipan, um, as a normal person, rather. Uh, and then they want to know if you want to be a cancel matchy. So if you want to, you click this. If you don't want to, you click that. And then they want to know if you're going to play with your credit card. So uh, I'm going to say, no, I don't want a credit card. Or, oh, yes, I want cancel matchy. And then you click that, and we are done. All right, so I think that does it for the registration and application processes. 
So please remember that the application details I just talked about are only for SK48. The details will be different for the other groups. And as a follow-up to this video, I'll make another one where I talk about what to do if you do win a visit to the SK Theater. I'll basically talk about how to get your tickets, how the seating works, how cancel matchy works, and so on. I'll also talk about some tips for applying, as well as some warnings about some things that might hurt your application chances. I realize that the various methods of applying are confusing, so I will go into that in greater detail in that video as well. I'm also planning a third video where I'll talk about how to attend uh, handshake events for SK48. So if you have any questions about the content of this video, or if there was anything I didn't explain properly and you want a more detailed explanation about, please let me know in the comments. So I'll see you in the next video, guys.